Hey you guys, so I've been meaning to do this particular video for a couple of months now, but unfortunately I had to get a couple of uh, reviews out of the way. Now, anyway, this video is about how to get the best definition twist out, the best banging, honey banging twist outs ever again these are my suggestions if you find some information that uh you don't agree with or you don't want to follow so be it this is what i do i mean the proof is in the pudding <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started you guys by the way this hair is the result of i think i'm on six days i'm on six days and i'm gonna how i got this definition is how i'm going to be uh, what I'm going to, to describe here in detail. First thing I want to um, say right now and, and just let you guys know, uh, the first tip is that it is not necessarily about the product, but the technique, okay? And that goes for just about anything, um, any type of hairstyle, um, whether it be perm rot set, whether it be braid out, coil out, um, Again, whatever it may be, it's more so your technique. And the reason for that is, if you'll go back and look at some of my videos, my twist outs are actually pretty good. Um, and that's because of the technique I use, which I will show you here in a bit, all right? Second tip, after I said it, is products. Um, the less, the better. And the reason for that is because you want to stretch out that twist out as long as, as possible. You want that twist out to be fluffy, but defined and soft, okay? Um, I tend to use no more than two or three products. That includes my leave-in. If you're able to find a product that moisturize and you can use as a leave-in, um, hell, you can use it as a styling product, you're winning. Um, so for example, when I do a twist out, normally I'll just use a, a regular leave-in, a regular water-based leave-in, okay? Then I'll use uh, whipped shea butter to twist my hair and then oil to seal. That is it. Um, one thing I want to advise against is uh, puddings or jellies. Now, I did use that Nini's pudding for a twist out, and you saw how my hair came out, okay? So puddings and jellies are more so for wash and goes, coil outs, even you can use for a perm rod, flexi rod set, because you're looking for a little hold. You don't necessarily need a lot of hold of a twist out because the twist, the twisting itself is going to, what's going to, is, is going to create the, the design, the texture, I should say, design. Um, you want to stick more to butters or creams. I've used the uh, Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Pudding. I've used, uh, oh, I have one right here, the Lottie Body Style Milk. This is the business. I've used this just for twist outs. Um, again, anything that's a thick cream uh, shea butter. If you don't like shea butter, try mango butter, all right? Um, but hands down for me, the two best products, for, personally for me, is a shea butter mix, whether it be shea butter, aloe vera juice, um, or gel, coconut oil, jojoba oil, just a, a whipped shea butter mix, or the TGIN Twist and Define Cream is the business, and they also have a buttercream, all right? TGIN, I will post the link below in the description box. So yes, keep it very simple when it comes to your products. There is no need to reapply products throughout the week. There really isn't. Um, me personally, since it's 110 degrees here in Phoenix, I probably moisturized twice this entire time and my hair is a little oily, but it's fluffy, okay? It's not weighed down. It doesn't feel heavy, all right? Um, third tip would be to, uh, when you twist your hair, whether it be on wet or dry hair, since I have a lot of hair, it takes a long time to dry, so I would prefer to wash my hair, then I twist my hair in large twists, I let it air dry to about 75%, and then I proceed to twist my hair with the actual product. Keep in mind, I've already used a leave-in, so it's not hella dry, okay? I twist with the product. Now, I leave my twist, 
twist twist I leave my twist in minimum two to three days I do not unravel you can do a cute little updo my hair is long enough or if you have hair long enough you can pull it back into a bun or a ponytail um, bobby pins are the blood of Jesus Lord bobby pins <laughs> Love bobby pins. You know, just take your twists and pull them up. Use bobby pins and a cute little design. Wear a headscarf. Wear a, um, what do you call them? Uh, um, I can't think you guys. A headscarf or a bonnet. <laughs> don't don't wear a bonnet as big as mine. Don't wear a bonnet at all, okay? But any type of hair accessory to jazz it up. But it's just for two or, two or three days, two days at least, okay? Keep them in for two days. Then when you unravel, you'll have this great definition. Now, when it comes to unraveling, you always want to use some type of oil, coconut oil, Grapeseed oil. I live for grapeseed oil. Coconut oil and grapeseed oil are great. Um, very, very light oil. Grapeseed oil is. Um, to unravel, you want to make sure you're paying close attention to your roots and to your ends. So now since I'm running out a little out of time, I want to show you guys how I twist. And I'm going to use a little bit of product. You guys have seen this, but I'm really going to take my time. Um, I know that one is, is not going to hold this. What is this? I really don't need any product, but this is just for educational purposes. See how my hair is? You probably can't see. My my hair is very moisturized. I'm going to use that much because my hair is so moisturized. Okay, and I'm going to go over 10 minutes, but that's okay. I'm going to um, apply the product from root to end. Okay, and this is not a great part, but... Separate into two even parts, and then I'm going to tightly twist, smooth down, twist, smooth, twist, smooth, twist, smooth, twist, smooth, and I, I get pretty tight at the root, and slowly, Let's see if you guys can see that. Look at my glasses. So you see how that, that looks very tight. And then keep twisting. Keep twist, twist, twist. And I'll show you how I unravel, just an example with this one. And then you want to twirl, 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 and twirl. <laughs> All right, and that's it. Now, as an end, I'm going to take down this one as an example. So let's just pretend I'm, I had put oil all over my hair or something, all right? So I'm going to unravel. <laughs> and of course, it's not defined because I did this like two seconds ago. Unravel like that, okay? And then if these were very, very defined, I would then separate. Let that drop. And let that drop okay you guys so I hope this helps someone um, Lord have mercy <laughs> I don't even know where, where it's supposed to be anyway I hope this helps someone if you have any tips on there we go if you have any tips or any suggestions on how you get banging twist outs let me know put them down below I, I love for people to share um their advice and everything this looks like I use one of those old-fashioned crimplers doesn't it from the 80s lord y'all so anyway like I said I hope this video helps someone and if you have any additional um suggestions or tips please feel free we, we are all here we are all here to learn from each other, okay? So thank you so much for watching, and thank you as always to all of my new subscribers. Bye.